Imagine this. You're a young lad, and you're so excited to play Call of Duty World War II. You got it pre-downloaded already? You're ready on day one. And once the game launches, you get into your first game, and you play on a map called Arden Forest. Once you finish the game, you're like, man, that was a pretty good map. I like that map. You go into your second game, and you completely destroy the enemy on this map called London Docks. And you're thinking, man, that map is really awesome, but it feels really similar to the last map I just played. Well, little Timmy, that's because you did. What is going on guys, Foxy Kerbal coming to you guys today with a brand new video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how Arden Force and London Docks are the same exact map but reskinned to fool the consumer. That's you and me actually. Now before I explain how the maps are the same, let me make a quick disclaimer. I've been playing Call of Duty for 10 years now. My first Call of Duty game was Call of Duty World at War and on Call of Duty World War 2 I have over 14 days played and I'm Master Prestige. I think I'm in a position to critique the maps this way and say what I want about this game, considering I've played it so much and I have enough experience with it. In addition, I'm not going to be one of these motherfuckers out here who literally just tells you guys the game is great just because it's boots on the ground, because it's not. As a fan base, we deserve better. We deserve to have a complete game at launch because of how much time and money we put into this franchise. Now before you guys start throwing a fit and typing in the comments section and going all Makarov on me, I'm going to break this video down into four sections. First, we're going to look at how the lanes of both maps are exactly the same. Second, we're going to dive headfirst into the game types. Third, we'll look at what changes were made to the maps in order to bamboozle the consumer. And finally, we'll look at the spawns. Let's go, bros. Number one, the map lanes. Now, this could be said about all the maps, but for now, we're sticking to these two maps. As we look at the overview, you're probably thinking, Oh, they're completely different. Uh, what are you talking about, Foxy? <laughs> Hold on there, Coconut Head. Hold on. Just wait. Just wait. If we break this down a little bit further, we see that both of these maps offer only three options for movement. Bruh. You either go left, right, or middle. There's no creativity here. And when there actually happens to be some creativity, Sledgehammer Games used the copy and paste method. If you don't believe me, let me show you what I'm talking about. So if we look at both of these maps, we're gonna run down B Street. We're gonna go to the right, and then if you guys notice, on London Docks, we're at the crates, but on Ardenus Forest, we're at the turret. These are the same exact locations, and if we run around them, then we go into this side passageway, and if we look to our left, there's a bunker for us to run in, and then as soon as we run out of the bunker, boom, there's the spawn. Another example of this is going the same exact way, but instead of going into the bunker, on London Docks, we can go down the stairs and point directly at the spawn, or on Arden Forest, we could just run straight and we'd be pointing directly at the spawn. You can't tell me that's not the same fucking thing, dude. And then immediately, as soon as everyone played the beta and everyone was pre-ordering, this is exactly what Michael Condry did. You all bought it! You all bought it! Hook, line, and sinker! Every damn one of you were made fools of! Now, I understand that London Docks has a couple height changes, but I'll talk about that later on in the video. Let's go back to the overview of these two maps, and let's look at three different game modes. First, let's look at Domination. Do you guys see anything different about the flag placements? You could possibly make an argument for Arden Forest, but at the same time, the map plays exactly the same with the lanes. So is there really a difference? Later in the video, I'll show you guys how B flag is almost identical for domination. Then we have demolition and search and destroy. When playing demolition, you can see that the bomb sites are almost identical. Although A bomb has some cover on London docks, it's still directly across from mid, just like Arden Forest. In addition, B bomb is placed directly across from a pathway that leads to mid, and honestly, it's nade central. It's the same for both maps. Don't believe me? Then go play Demolition on Arden Forest, and go try and plant B-Bomb when it's the last bomb left. You'll see how many nades get thrown at you. For Search and Destroy, the bomb sites don't change on London Docks, 
but they're moved slightly for Arden Forest. Although A-Bomb has cover on Arden Forest, it still doesn't change how the maps are played. They are both three lane maps with no variety. Think of it like this. You know when in high school you forgot to do your paper, so you took your friend's paper and then copied it, but you just switched a few words here and there? Yeah, that's what this is like. Number three, changes. As I stated earlier when we looked at B Street for London Docks, I said that the map has a couple height changes. Some of you might say that London Docks is just a bigger version of Arden Forest. And you might not be wrong, but to that, I say, You've proven my point before you even started your argument. The changes brought to London Docks is the stairs at B-Flag and the actual docks. However, Sludgehammer Games can't bamboozle me, fellas. Let's look at B-Flag on London Docks and Arden Forest. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. If we look at both maps at B-Flag, we see that both lanes are identical. There's plenty of pieces of cover that could be compared. For example, the head glitches a player would use on Arden Forest are the rocks going to be flag. This is the same as the boxes that are used for head glitching on London Docks. In addition, both are looking directly at B flag. Now I know exactly what you're saying to yourself. You're probably thinking, God, this guy's fucking retarded. What the hell is he talking about? They're obviously different. Goddamn retard. And you're kind of right. But what if I told you a simple change to a map could make you look at a map different and it can bamboozle you. If you took the stairs on London Docks and you pulled them off and stuck them against this building on my left hand side, you'd be looking at a near replica of Arden Forest. It's pure laziness and honestly, it's fucking garbage. Going into my last point, we're looking at spawns. So if you've made it this far into the video, you probably want to hear what I have to say. So for that, I have to say thanks. thank you. However. The spawns on both of these maps are identical, and this can't be denied. If we look at the initial spawns, they are directly in the middle on each team's respective side. If my spawn gets taken over by the enemy team, I'm going to spawn to the right side of the initial spawn. This is the case for many maps in this game, but that's another conversation for another time. Now, I can't say too much because the spawns are set this way because of the shitty map design. However, there is no excuse for this, because if the developers were creative and made good maps, and not maps that are nearly identical, then I wouldn't have to make this fucking video. But guys, that's gonna do it for this video on why London Docks and Arden Forest are the same exact map, just reskinned. Once again, both maps have the same exact lanes, the game types are similar, there's barely any changes in the way the maps play for specific game types, and the spawns. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys want me to do another video like this, let me know down in the comments. Also, let's start a discussion down in the comments. Do you guys agree? Do you guys disagree? Let me know. I want to hear what you guys are thinking down in the comments section. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. The link is down in the description below. If you guys are brand new to the channel and you guys want a shout out on one of my videos, all you guys got to do is leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, and then use the hashtag FoxyPack in the comments section. Normally, I do that at the beginning of the video, but I wanted to get straight into the details and I didn't want to, you know, blockade any types of blogna, basically, for this video. So, thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!